community has given us a tremendous amount in our children and given us you know, an opportunity to bring them up in a, in a tiny Jewish community. And it seems only fitting that we make sure that that uh, stands for time to, to come. It offers us the opportunities for education and prayer, uh, association with other community members, many of whom have become our close friends. We were with two young children and we wanted and we were looking for a Jewish community. And organizations in St. Paul helped us provide that for our children and for our family. And so our reason for giving a legacy gift is to say thank you and to help make sure that those organizations continue for many generations into the future. They want to be sure that uh, sort of the chain that was established going way back in the middle age uh, is continued uh, for those that come uh, in the future. Yeah, you, you don't realize how it's in a part of your identity, being Jewish. Somewhere, and it's a way of connecting and linking to people and and understanding who they are, and through that you understand who you are. I just want my kids and their kids to feel comfortable and proud of that identity. My, parent, my grandparents were, were part of the Holocaust, and my uh, parents were able to come to the United States and uh, start a new life. And it was partly because obviously of the Jewish agencies, which helped along with family members. And so that gives you an added dimension to why you want this to continue. Let's think about the planting the tree. And that I will make, I mean, I benefit from the fruit. Legacy is all for us, is all about making sure that the institutions and organizations that we feel provide for the Jewish community will continue to be here. We only hope that the generations that come after us can find in the Jewish community what we've found contact, Jewish context, Jewish literacy. We hope that we can help provide the means for each generation to reinvent the community uh, in a way uh, that suits them. Yeah, that I uh, think it's important to remember those that came before us and still the uh, sense of belonging and passing on traditions and community solidarity to future generations. And the value of Judaism and the strength to survive and to be strong and to become educated and to do your best is very much ingrained in us. And we've been able to pass that on to our children who in turn are passing it on to their children. And not us, who else? You know, it's really our obligation to make sure that we protect the future generations and the community of St. Paul. What, what's a legacy? A legacy is about doors. And doors do two things. They close or they open. And if we can open doors for other people that come behind us or come after us, can you think of a better legacy than that? Possessions and stuff and even money, they're all temporary. It's all a gift. And what's really valuable is the relationships that you have. And it's how you die has a huge impact on how you will be remembered because you will be remembered. Uh, yeah, legacy. Every, everybody wants to think and wants to believe and hopes that it matters that they were here. And this is a very small way of making that happen. Uh, I think that Bill Gates and Warren Buffett are role models to me, which their idea is to get rid of 90% of their, of their um, wealth leave 10% for their family. You know, we have seven children. So what we decided to do in our planning was divvy up our net worth when we're no longer here eight ways. We would just simply add the community as one of the recipients of our assets. Uh, we come from a philosophy that says, of course we want to be comfortable, and of course we want our children and grandchildren to be comfortable. But 
we don't have any great desire to leave them wealthy and they should make their own way in the world as we did as my parents taught us to do to make sure that we left behind uh, sustenance for those organizations that we supported that we felt good. proud to say I'm part of the PJ Library Our legacies are formally with Temple Israel and Shalom. We are leaving a legacy gift to the Unrestricted Fund uh, at the Minneapolis Jewish Foundation, as well as to some other organizations. We made uh, legacy gifts to the St. Paul Federation, Temple of Aaron Synagogue, uh, St. Paul JCC and Herzl Camp. We think and leaving the legacy, uh, making the announcement, making the commitment was very valuable to us. It created clarity in our lives. We've all been very involved in a number of the Jewish agencies in town, uh, active on the Federation, synagogue, um, Torah, JFS. Then when the, the board was approached within the last year or so with a new program for Legacy and encouraged to have 100% board participation, which I think is exactly right, it was a, a no-brainer that this is what I should do. You can help the community generally in two ways. One is through your own time and energy, and the second is through your money. We have always planned to leave money to the things we cared the most about. Uh, it's your legacy program that kind of formalized that and forced us. I'm Tom Frischberg. And I'm Deb Frischberg. And we are the Frischbergs. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I'm Deb. So, I'm wiped out. <laughs> um, so say. Have to speak in complete sentences. Mm -hmm. What a challenge. Did I answer the question? <laughs> I don't know if I answered the question. Um. <laughs> I'll just say Deb. Tom, you tell me. Deb, you tell me.